Hello there all. The next part of my series is Beltane. Now a lot of you will know this is the time of the maypole. Okay? Uh, also known as La Beltane, Beltane, and Beltane um, are all names for this ritual which was traditionally held on May 1st also known as May Day. Um, Usually, um, it's on May 1st, it's still celebrated on May 1st, but, um, due to the way that astral things are working, or astronomy anyway, um, it's actually been slowly moving towards, uh, May 4th and 6th. Um, either the traditional date or the astrological date can be used to determine when to hold your festival, as both will have significant energies for the season. And the season is spring. The lusty month of May is called so for a reason. Watch the animals. They are rutting, um, looking to attract mates to raise their families. Butterflies and insects are pollinating flowers all over. The trees are bursting into bloom and new green growth. In spring, the young man's fancy turns to love and the young girl's fancies turn to young men. Also, this is where the whole thing where April showers bring May flowers, so this is a great time to be celebrating. Um, Beltane named for the Celtic sun god Bel or Baal or Baal also means Baal, to banish, as in the Baal fires, which are lit on Beltane to cleanse and purify. Cattle are led between two fires to cleanse them and uh, there have been some theories made that the druids quite possibly may have put purifying herbs on the fires um, to help the little process along. Um, couples would jump the fire to bless their union and to make it fruitful, hence why so many people get married in spring. Um, you can jump the fire to leave behind bad habits or thoughts or stand close enough to the fire so that its heat can burn out sickness. You may call upon the flames to burn away whatever you want to be free or by mentally casting it into the fire. Virgin women would jump the fire to be blessed by a child of the fire, an immaculate conception as it were. The fire symbolizes life, passion, love, and sex and can also protect you from, for the coming year. To gaze into the flames and become firestruck is to cause an altered state of consciousness that is useful for divination. Nine woods in the bale fire go, burn them fast and burn them slow. Um, that is from the Wiccan Reed, and for those of you who would like to know what those nine woods were, uh, oak for the god, birch for the goddess, fir for birth, willow for death, rowan for magic, apple for love, grapevine for joy, hazel for wisdom, and hawthorn for purity and for May. Now, of course, if you live in an area such as South Florida, where this is a definite lack of some of these woods, such as apple, you can always substitute another wood, as long as this wood is also known for the same properties. So do some research and make intelligent substitutions. Um, Probably the most memorable and obvious symbol of Beltane is the maypole, a uh, phallic symbol. It represents the male uh, regenerative force in nature and is used to show the sacred union between the goddess and god that takes place at this time. The pole represents the god, of course, and the earth represents the goddess. Red and white were the traditional colors of the ribbons on the pole and were... Uh, and there are different explanations for them, one being that they represent the male semen and the female menstrual blood, and are a reminder that this is a uh, game that only men and women enjoy and is not for children. Um, the other is that red and white represent the two fluids that women uh, safely give, milk and blood, of which men were in awe. Either way, these can still be seen in Catechus, the symbol of healing, and also the red and white barber's pole. In ancient times, the doctor was also the barber, hence the similar symbolisms. Um, today, we choose a ribbon color which represents something 
we wish to weave into our lives as we weave it onto the pole. Hopefully something that will also benefit the community as a whole since this is a communal dance. Yellow for wisdom and inspiration, orange for success, blue for peace or peace of mind, pink for friendship or patience, green can be healing or financial gain, white for health and protection, and so on and so forth with the colors. Um, the pole is erected with appropriate ritual ceremony uh, with the ribbons all tied to the top of the pole. The dancers stand in a circle around it, each holding to the ends of the ribbons. Uh, typically this is done with the males and females alternating around the circle, but almost never have an exactly even number and it doesn't matter that much. If you do have an almost equal number, then you can have all the males go diocil and the females go under shins, clockwise and counterclockwise, um, as they go around the pole. If your numbers are too uneven, then have the participants count off by twos with all the number ones going one way and the number twos going opposite. Um, music at this time is obvious, uh, obviously really great. Um, there's dances for fertility at this time, um, dances for all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's not it's not just some crazy um, shindig, if you will. Um, the scarf dance, I'd like to briefly touch on because I think this is really awesome, um, is another Beltane tradition, which the couple who are the king and queen of the May or the couple who are the lord and lady will start. The lady teases the lord with a green scarf and then drops it at his feet as a signal for him to pursue her. She eludes him successfully, fully for a few rounds, then allows him to catch her and rewards his efforts with a kiss. The scarf can then be passed on to another woman to do the same to a man of her choice. This originated as a courtship ritual at a time when sexuality was not expressed openly and was a way for women to tastefully let a man know that she was interested in him in a publicly acceptable manner. So... I thought you all would really like this. Um, make sure that if you're going to make an altar at this time, that you should have beautiful spring flowers put on there. Um, sprouting green vines. Things of this nature, okay? Because, oh, spring. <laughs> spring is a wonderful time to celebrate. If, if there's any other time that a holiday should be celebrated, I, personally, I think spring. And I think Beltane is one of the most beautiful celebrations in uh, the Wheel of the Year. Um, it's kind of like that halfway line between the spring equinox or equinox and the summer equinox. So I hope you all really enjoyed this one. I know I did. So this is Lady Silver Vixen and I'm signing off for now. Blessings be with you all.